weekend is absolutely going to be one for the books. I already feel it in my soul because one of my dearest friends is getting married here in Newport, Rhode Island. Also, this trip is kind of doubling as our baby moon. This is going to be our last trip before we end up having the baby in October. So after the wedding weekend, we're going to take a few days off and head up the Cape to Cape Cod and also spending a day in Nantucket. So I'm really excited to bring you guys along with me. I have all of my girlfriends here from high school and middle school and we're all staying in this Airbnb this weekend. So that's also like a really fun nostalgic thing for me to all be together. It's so special because we don't really have many opportunities to all be together in one space. We all live kind of all over the place. So I'm really looking forward to that and I'm really looking forward to checking off being in this area because this area has been on my bucket list for forever and it's hydrangea season, especially in Nantucket. Ever since I got Pinterest in like 2011 when I was in college, I have been dying to go and visit and just see Cape Cod in all its glory during the summer with hydrangeas. I can't believe I'm here. It's so exciting to finally be in the place that you've been dreaming of after all those years. So today on our agenda, we're actually going to go and check out the Newport mansions. I believe that there are four major ones. And we're going to try definitely to go see two and then possibly three depending on timing because I do have to work from home today. I wanted to get that in at least today and then have more of a jam-packed day tomorrow because I, I don't work on the weekend. So let's go explore these apparently absolutely gorgeous mansions. We stopped by this cute little cafe called Drift Cafe on Main Street in Newport. And I got the sunset bowl with acai, some almond butter, homemade granola, bananas, strawberries, and coconut. Then I decided to try out this mango matcha because I mean, I love mango and matcha is my jam. So let's see what it tastes like. Wow, it's life changing. I need to figure out how to make that. The very first mansion on our tour is the Marble House. This is luxe. This is grand. And I cannot believe how many hydrangeas are lining this property. Again, absolutely magical to be here during this time of season because this is making it even more extravagant for me at least because I love hydrangeas. <laughs> What I really loved about these house tours were that they are self-guided. So if you wanna take your time in each room and look at all the details, which there are a lot of details in every room, you could spend absolutely hours upon hours just staring at things, taking pictures and videos, you can. And that's what I personally wanted to do. If you feel the need to have more of a guided tour, you could absolutely download their app and walk through the rooms and listen to someone speak to you about all the different history each room has or you could use just the pamphlet like we did and kind of just breeze through and read it afterwards to get more of an idea of what each room really represents and where the origins are from so we just had such a nice time taking our time and it was hot out so being inside was a real treat i highly recommend if you're going in the summer to do these house tours because you get some ac you get some amazing views and amazing history so this was the next mansion we went into which apparently the great gatsby was filmed here and they have a few trinkets that you'll see later that are from the actual movie this mansion was built in 18 1898 and was completed in 1902 which is known as the Gilded Age where there was great economic growth. Everything was very very lavish if you had money and these homes reflect that because most of these were during those very lavish periods of time and they wanted to show off their wealth so by doing so they would have people to their homes and show off all of their money through the architecture. Here are those Great Gatsby pieces that I mentioned previously. I'm such a movie geek, so these were really cool to see and I wasn't expecting to see them. An interesting thing about these mansions were that they were not taken care of for many decades and at auction they were sold for a very low price. Obviously now we cherish them and respect their history and really take great care of them, but for a long time they weren't, so I found that very interesting. I don't know how you don't take care of a beautiful property like this with this view. 
The camera doesn't even do it justice. It is absolutely gorgeous. The next mansion we went to see was the Breakers. I honestly think this was my favorite mansion. The inside was beautiful. I'm so glad that we ended up going to it. The guy who was sitting there and was kind of giving some information out was telling me just how much French influence a lot of these mansions had. There's so much information that goes into these mansions. It really could be multiple days worth of learning things if you're really a history buff. Um, so we tried to soak in as much as possible, but we also had places to be later in the day. So we really just took the time to take in all the architecture and the details and just truly slow down a little bit before we had a busy rest of our night. We just got back to our Airbnb after going to three of the different mansions and I'm so glad that we ended up doing that. I had no idea about them until my wedding photographer, who's actually here to photograph my friend's wedding, she posted on her Instagram stories and I was like, oh my gosh, that's the perfect thing to do tomorrow before work. And let me tell you, as you guys could see, but I didn't, I didn't like capture everything and how just elaborate and detailed and just encompassing it was truly to be in those mansions and just like envision what it would have been like to live during those time periods so really really worth it i also love history and just learning about you know the places that i go to visit and that was a great way to do it and you can definitely go online and do like a group ticket so you can end up bouncing to all the different mansions or like we did, we um, bought, we didn't mean it to do this, but we bought the duo thinking we'd only go to two. And then we were like, let's just go to the breakers and check out the grounds, but you have to pay for the grounds. So we ended up buying it separately. So highly recommend doing that. Now I gotta get to work and then we're going to the welcome cocktail party for the wedding tonight. We stopped into Banana Republic because we apparently didn't have the correct attire for Ryan for the cocktail hour. And this lovely gentleman is, oh my gosh, this sweater is not you, but I'm loving it. Yeah, <laughs> do a little strut for me, doll. <laughs> This is just right. All right. I think we'll take everything but the sweater. <laughs> <laughs> welcome dinner and it is beautiful I'm currently looking at the sun setting and it's insane with all the water and the sailboats and they have just lovely appetizers it's so fun catching up with everybody and just like being with my girlfriends who like I said it's a rare occasion to be together so just super special and I can't wait for tomorrow the day is gonna be so nice we're gonna go on a sailboat and then go to the wedding so from the welcome party she gave us these little welcome boxes with cookies popcorn and two San Pellegrinos thought that was such a thoughtful touch Good 
morning. Ryan and I are gonna go pop into shops in the town and just kind of do some exploring before we catch our sailboat ride. And hopefully, I don't know what the sailboat's gonna be like, but I'm hoping it goes up the coast and we can see some really beautiful views and get some sea breeze because it is humid here. This is something I do not miss about living on the East Coast is how humid it gets. It has been almost like 90 degrees with 99% humidity. It's a real treat, you know, your legs are shaking, everything's sweating, all of your nooks and crannies. You know, we're making the most of it and we're just having such a fun time. This town is so, so charming. So I'm excited to explore it more. So excited because I follow KJP on Instagram and I have a pair of his Halloween socks and Christmas socks so I'm really excited to go in the store and just kind of take a look at what it's like because he knows a good aesthetic especially during the seasons that is the wrong door here we go hi how are you so charming wow this is exactly oh my gosh this just reminds me of his Instagram. It's so well done. Oh, I like this one. Looking sharp. Go check yourself out. What do you think? You like it? Let's get it. He rarely likes fashion stuff. He's trying to be a little fashionista these days. just hopped off of the sailboat it was so beautiful wonderful breeze and now I'm thinking it's time to grab a little lemonade happy hour drink for us before we start getting ready for this wedding this is what I like to call a pregnancy happy hour and this is actually a slushy lemonade and it is absolutely delightful on this very hot day all right everybody in the Airbnb is getting ready for the wedding and ready to party music's blasting Woo! My girls, look, it's so beautiful. Oh my gosh, I'm already emotional. <laughs> Never looked better. I'm not saying a lot. <laughs> she always looks good. <laughs> the most gorgeous oyster sugar I've ever seen in my life.
This is our wedding photographer at Jess's and Jonathan's wedding. But I know, I know, I'm walking barefoot on shells. But listen, you need to hire her, okay? No ifs, ands, or buts. The only way to go. The only way. Today I'm an outfit repeater and I'm no shame in my outfit repeating game. The wedding last night was so nice. It was just absolutely beautiful and it was so fun to just be with all of my girlfriends and really just like make more memories together and dance and the food was so good. I think I had the best lobster roll and clam chowder at her wedding and that's saying a lot because, oh wow, that's beautiful. So, on that note, Ryan and I are officially on our baby moon. Now it's just the two of us, and we're going to explore Cape Cod, go all the way up to Provincetown, and then come down to Chatham. We're going down the right I know, I know. It's not going to stop. I love this area. It's like my dream. These houses are insane. Do you see that? I see it. That's a Pinterest house. Times a hundred. Times a hundred. <laughs> <laughs> this place is amazing. So house times a hundred. This whole street. Yeah. And then we're gonna go stay in our bed and breakfast in Dennisport. And tomorrow we're gonna go to Nantucket. I'm so excited. I've been wanting to go my whole life. And finally, I get to go and explore it. We went to the tippity top of Cape Cod to explore Provincetown for a few hours. This town is filled with history and good food and a lot of different restaurants and shops. We decided to grab lunch here and go to the Lobster Pot. I really wanted to try one of their famous lobster rolls and clam chowder. It was good, but honestly, the catered food at the wedding when they had lobster rolls and clam chowder to me was so much better but you know what it's well worth the experience i enjoyed it unfortunately ryan is allergic to seafood so this area is not quite tailored to what he's allowed to have since it's very seafood heavy he ended up getting a burger and then after lunch we decided to explore more and go into shops like this nut house so cute the nuts smelled amazing there and then we found this hidden bookstore which was a very unique find i really loved it we just kind of explored i love the smell of old books oh my gosh and then we looked at a few of the different art galleries there they have a lot of art galleries very dog friendly in this area which obviously we love and we didn't really dip our toe into the more historical parts of this area but i highly recommend if you are a history buff definitely check it out i'm a candy buff so i had to stop into the candy store i didn't pick anything up but it's always fun to look it was very nostalgic in there we popped into your classic tourist store and then and we went into the Christmas store. I couldn't pass it up. Look at all the ornaments above my head. It was very magical. I'm kind of getting ready for Christmas, even though it's summer and I'm not one for Christmas in July. I really am not. Since it was getting later in the day, we wanted to make sure we had time to stop into a few more towns along the road before we got to our Airbnb. So the next stop was a town called Chatham and it is so dreamy. It's your quintessential Pinterest Cape Cod town that you are dreaming of. It was a lovely taste of what you get from Nantucket, but on the mainland and not off on an island. The reason that we came to Chatham was because I wanted to visit the Chatham Bars Inn. I've heard amazing things about this hotel and it is very pricey. So the best way to do this if you don't actually want to stay at the hotel is book a reservation at one of their restaurants or you could go out on the patio and get a fun drink like Ryan and I did. I got a mocktail and it was delicious sitting there watching the boats go by having the breeze a storm was brewing so we decided to go into town and visit some shops and get some ice cream This is delish. That was the best ice cream bar I've ever had in my life and I'm actually mad at myself that there's four drips from it that I don't currently have in my stomach. What a shame. 
It's only a few steps away from the beach. It's giving me Gilmore Girls Dragonfly Inn vibes. And we're actually staying in Dennis Port because it was like a good in between from where we needed to be for Nantucket and just explore other areas. So let me go inside and show you what it looks like. You go upstairs to your rooms here. You have this lovely little tea area, so charming. And then when you check in, it's self check in and they have your card with your name on it. And then in here is the living room area with the dollhouse, lovely chair setup, sailboats are everywhere in this town. And I just really adore this painting. There's something about it that just captures my attention and really encompasses Cape Cod because of the hydrangeas, so beautiful. And then in here, people are actually dining, but they have breakfast every single morning. I'll bring you in there a little later. Heading up to the room, you can grab some beach towels and beach chairs if you want to go over to the ocean front. And that's a really nice little touch they have. Here is our bedroom for the next two days. It's small, but very charming. And over here, I love this because you get a beautiful view of the neighborhood. You could also get a beach view, but I didn't want to pay extra for that. We have a little balcony right here. And you can see the beautiful houses. It's a gore just day. Ryan and I were cracking up when we opened up the envelope to see which room number we were because these numbers follow me around everywhere and literally Ryan was just saying this. Like, what is up with you always getting 301? And we have like a numerous list of reasons why this number has been in my life. It's so weird. But I just thought that was like a funny little thing that <laughs> our room number was 301 of all numbers. Once we arrived in Nantucket after our one hour ferry ride, we stopped at Jack and Charlie's to grab a treat. I picked up a chai latte, which was phenomenal. Ryan got a blueberry muffin. I had a little bite of that and that was really good as well. I still was hungry, so I asked him if we could stop at the Lemon Press, which I have seen on Instagram and has popped up on my TikTok. I got the coconut chia seed pudding and it was phenomenal. I tried to recreate it and I just couldn't do it. We decided to pop into a few different shops, which some of my favorite shops to look at when I'm traveling are antique stores, just to see what treasures they hold. We walked over to Brant Point Lighthouse, which is just a quintessential thing to do when you're on a coast, is to see the beautiful historical lighthouses. We walked along the shoreline, looked at all the different shells on the ground, and embraced the breeze since it was a very hot day. There's my little cutie husband, and we decided to continue our exploring into different stores. This was a really unique antique store. Unfortunately, everything in there was very pricey. And I know they're antiques and they're well worth it, but sometimes you just can't fathom how much you're gonna have to spend on it. But it's really fun to look and get inspiration. We wanted to head over to Sconset, so we stopped at this bus station. This is the best way to go over to the cottages, is to get your bus ticket. It was very easy. We did have a little wait while our bus arrived, so we just sat there. And once we got on the bus there was beautiful views it's a great way to see the island a lot of the houses are very similar mostly the same style just decorated differently but what I really loved is that you'll see later in the video how every single house has its own name and I thought that was a unique way to add a personalized touch to your home
we did a little bit at the Bluff Walk, but we wanted to get Claudette's sandwiches before they close. So we're gonna head on in there. We got our sandwiches. I got the roasted turkey salad and then these Nantucket crisps, the sweet onion flavor. So we're gonna enjoy this and then continue our exploring. We made it to Sconset and it is very charming. You almost feel like you're in a fairy tale with all of the hydrangeas and just the cute cottages. There's beautiful scenery everywhere you turn. So we are going to actually head back now to the main street and kind of finish exploring up there. Go maybe to the Whaling Museum and then we'll head back to Dennisport. Our plan slightly took a turn because it started to get very stormy and we were a little nervous about catching the ferry in a storm. So we stopped at this little gift shop just to see what they had. They had really cute items and we picked something up before we changed our ticket to go home a little bit earlier. I'm so glad that we did go home earlier though because my feet were really hurting. Wear proper shoes because there's a lot of cobblestones and it was just getting kind of gross out. So I wanted to leave on a beautiful note. Here is day two spread at our bed and breakfast. The breakfast they're serving is French toast with a side of berries, um, eggs, and a sausage because Ryan took my other sausage since I'm not a huge fan of sausage. And then this right here is a blueberry lemon compote, they said. Mmm, so good. Enjoy it all. And then we're gonna go head down to the beach before we check out. We are back from our baby moon and it was truly everything and more that I could have imagined this trip to be. I have always wanted to go up northeast, especially during the fall, which I've yet to check off my bucket list, but I have officially checked off going there during the summertime. It was so beautiful up there. I honestly don't love East Coast states and I'm from the East Coast. Maryland has my heart, sure, because it's my hometown, but I have visited many other states before and they just don't hit home to me. And these, these two places were the first places that I really felt like, okay, I, your head is in the frame, Ember. These two places really felt like I could see myself living there because of it being by the coast and the geography of the area. That was really refreshing to have. And it's also so nice to just be with all my friends that I haven't seen in a while and just explore and be on vacation. It was such a nice treat because it is gonna be Ryan and I's last vacation before we have a little baby who we take on vacation with all the time, which we plan to hopefully still be able to travel as much as possible. So I wanted to kind of share with you the goodies that I picked up while we were on our trip. It was very sunny there, so we definitely needed to pick up a few hats because we forgot to bring our baseball caps. Ryan picked up one previously on the trip and it flew off on the sailboat. So after the sailboat, sailboat he had to go and find another one when we were in Cape Cod and I just think this one is such a easy like neutral kind of cap you could throw on with any outfit and Ryan and I like to share a lot of clothes because I obviously like like to size up more now that I'm pregnant but in general I just kind of like oversized clothes and so like when we can kind of agree on one style of clothing together then it's multi-purpose and we feel like it's definitely a bang for our buck and then I picked up this baseball cap before we went on the sailboat I just thought it was Really cute, it just encompassed where we were. You guys know I love Christmas, so I had to pick up a ornament to represent our trip on our tree this year. It says 2022 Newport, Rhode Island, so I'm very excited to hang this on my tree with my little baby. We actually didn't buy these. These were at the wedding reception on our tables and they are oyster shells that Jessica, my friend who was getting married, created and her husband is an oyster farmer. So I thought that was such a lovely little touch on their tablescape. And then inside it said our names so that we knew where to sit. I just love details of weddings. It truly is in the details, people. Two clothing items that we got 
Ryan got this very cute Nantucket shirt, which of course I will be wearing as well. And it happened to match the baseball cap that he picked up. And then I grabbed this sweater or I don't, people call these nudies if they don't have a hood. So I picked up this nudie and it says Newport, Rhode Island. It kind of just has like that vintagey feel. And this was nice to have because it did get a little bit chilly at night there, which I love, you know, summer nights when it's super hot and muggy during the day. And then when it starts to cool down and it's almost like cool enough that you could have a bonfire and roast s'mores, truly nothing is better. Well, that's not true. I shouldn't say that. Nothing is better than a fall bonfire, but that's just my personal opinion. And then when we're in Nantucket, I really wanted something to represent our trip on the island because I really, truly have always wanted to go there my whole life and I was so excited to be there. And since Ryan got the Nantucket shirt, I thought like, what would be a fun little trinket to put into my little boy's room? And I thought this would be a really cute way to represent the trip. This is a whale. That's actually not a purposeful eye. It's just a part of the wood, which I thought was really cool. You see whales all over when you're driving around, on houses, when you go inside places, with their interior decor. So I thought this would be a really nice little touch, a subtle touch too, to put on one of his shelves in his nursery. Or or, you know, I could find a place in this room where it has a bunch of built-in shelves. Then the last item that I got that I truly had to, had to get because it was just speaking to my soul and Ryan was like, there's no way we're gonna fit that in the suitcase. Never tell me no, because I will find a way. And he has learned that throughout the years except for this one occasion where he seemed to have forgotten and then I reminded him that I get my way. And I really wanted this beautifully framed print of the most favorited place I think on the trip that we went to was Chatham, Massachusetts. It was dreamy, picturesque. I absolutely want to go back there because I don't feel like I really got to explore it as much. The little town literally reminded me of Stars Hollow in the summertime and we had the best ice cream there. We went there one night for dinner. It's small but it's just so charming and calming. So I just thought this would be a perfect way to kind of reflect my favorite place within my home, which I try to also make my favorite place since I'm in it quite often. Those are all of our goodies from our vacation. I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog, got inspired to go to these places. If you have any questions, please let me know down below. I will try to put everything down in the description box to hopefully answer those questions. If you don't see an answer to that question, again, just ask me. I'm very open to discussing itinerary with everybody. I really do a lot of research before I go to these places to make sure that I'm hitting the spots that I want, but also at the same time being spontaneous can be the best parts of your trip. So try to keep that in mind when you are on vacation because I certainly need to rem remind myself of that. Thank you guys so much for watching and subscribing and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.